What's up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk update. COD Mobile is getting a first major update in a while. It's coming in January, so we're just a few weeks away from the next big update. So we have a confirmation now that we will be getting one of the two score streaks that have been leaked before the global launch, the recon car and the dragon fire drone. So we will be getting the drone first. I'm pretty excited for that one, guys. It's a nice score streak. It was in Black Ops 2, and uh, I will give you guys more details on that one first. We're going to look at the upcoming events for the end of December, and then we'll look at the major update for January. Let's start. Before we start, make sure you guys smash the like right now if you're excited for the upcoming update. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile news. Now let's get into it. So what to expect for the end of December? First of all, we have three challenges going on right now. You have about a week left for these. Prop Hunt Challenge, the Hard Point Challenge, and the Trickster Challenge. Guys, don't miss your chance. Finish the Trickster Challenge right now. Because when it's gone, it's gone. And it might take a while before you have a chance to get the Trickster back in the shop. Trickster is a new class for Battle Royale. I have a video about it. Make sure you check it out. I have a full review and some gameplay for you guys. Hardpoint and Prop Hunt. Uh, no big deal. The rewards are not great. You're going to get a crate, a flashbang, some credits. Same thing for Hardpoint. Crates and credits. So not a big deal if you miss or if you don't play much but trickster you definitely want to go for it now next up we have the holiday draw it was just added a few days ago it's a big gamble and guys you know what to expect if you're gonna spin that and you think you're gonna get the weapon or the skin well guys don't be stupid you know it's gonna be probably the last two items in the draw it's how it works guys you can call it a scam but the odds are displayed now starting tomorrow or maybe at the refresh tonight December 23 is the Santa is coming to the circus event in Battle Royale. So you guys probably already saw, it's been here for like three, two weeks. Uh, the zombie Santa, the parade in Battle Royale. So you have like Santa boss fights, four places on the map. You got some red dots, you can chase the Santa. And if you shoot him, it's going to be knocked down. It's going to drop you some great loot. And you have a chance for some stuff that was not in the game before, like the snowman grenades and stuff. So there's an event coming tomorrow, and it's called Santa is Coming to the Circus. So apparently we'll have something to do with that on the circus area in the Battle Royale map. We don't have much details, but it should be providing a lot of action in Battle Royale. Because you guys know, when all the players go on the same place on the map, it's going to create action. It's going to be very hard. If there's some real players in your game, they're all going to collapse at the same place. Now, talking about Battle Royale, there's been a leak yesterday on Twitter. Check out Murder Blast once again. It looks like we're going to get a new map for Season 3. It's been added in the game files. It's called Chernobyl. So it's yet to be officially confirmed but expect a new battle royale map i know a lot of guys have been asking since day one are we gonna get more maps for battle royale well probably yeah it's pretty obvious we were gonna get new maps but we didn't know when now it looks like it's gonna be for season three in about three weeks maybe now right around that time december 27 29 we will be getting the snipers only challenge back Snipers only mode was pretty popular among the player. It was quite exciting using only snipers versus other sniper players. So we'll have a challenge, expect more rewards. Then early January, we'll be getting the prop hunt once again, part two and another challenge for prop hunt. If you guys love this game mode, you'll be excited to have it back. Now let's go with the new score streak, guys. That's the most exciting part to me. I'm really excited for that one. Guys, it looks like we will be getting the MQ27 Dragonfire score streak event on the third day of January 2020. So it's in about a week and a half. It's going to be an event like we had for the Sparrow and the Molotov. You will have to unlock by completing tasks. So what is the MQ27 Dragonfire? It's a remote control score streak. So when you unlock it, you activate it and you will be controlling it's a flying drone equipped with a light machine gun. So you can fly around for 60 seconds and you can shoot score streaks. You can shoot your enemy players and you see the targets in red. Usually it's highlighted. So it's a very good score streak. The cost in, I think in Black Ops 2 was 900 something. But according to the leaks, 
in Call of Duty Mobile is gonna be cheaper. It's gonna be in between the Sentry Gun and the Predator Missile. So around 700 points or something like that, according to the leaks. Now again, it could change when we get it in the game, but it's kind of cheap, you can use it, but it's easy to destroy. People can just shoot it with their uh, primary weapons. So uh, if you don't get destroyed, you can control it for 60 seconds. So you get kind of good value. The only thing I don't like about remote control score streaks is while you're controlling it, you're not moving, you're not shooting stuff. So you cannot do the two things at once. So compared to the sentry gun, for example, or the stealth chopper, well, you can just activate and you keep playing, you know? So your score streak is gonna get kills for you while you keep getting kills. But yeah, the remote control car, uh, the dragon fire, well, you're not playing while you're controlling it. I'm not saying it's bad though. It's actually pretty decent. Depends on the game modes once again, but it's pretty decent and it's pretty cheap. Now, once again, around that time, early January, we will be getting gun game once again for another week with a challenge. Now, what else we got? Well, the big major update, What's gonna happen in the major update? They said we're gonna get a new zombies update. They say new zombies map. So what is it gonna be? A lot of players think it's gonna be transit. According to the leakers, transit has been in the game files for a while. Now we see some beta gameplay once again from Ray Legardo on YouTube, but we could be getting the missions also, maybe the farm area or something like that. Like nothing's confirmed officially. Even if all the leaks point to transit, we will have to wait for another community update for a confirmation. Now, on top of the zombies update, we will be getting more for multiplayer mode. They didn't say exactly what, but we know we're getting a new score streak and we know we can expect in the future the recon car score streak. Of course, we can always expect more multiplayer maps. They rotate, they remove some, they bring us some back. So let's see what we get, guys. We should have another update in about a week. That's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're excited for the next update, don't forget to smash that like. Leave a comment below what you like more, zombies, multiplayer, or battle royale. What are you looking forward to the most? I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.